Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another video. Tonight I'm going to be playing the PC game The Fishery. This uh, became available on Steam earlier in this month and I must have purchased this right after it came out. Although I did not purchase it through Steam. Steam sells it for $4.99. Daily Indie Game sells it for $3.99. However, I did not pay that for it. Uh, Daily Indie Game offered it as part of their one of their bundles. So I got this game and eight other games for a total of $2.99. Now, after I, I got this game, I started playing it and I fell in love with it. I cannot stop playing this game. I think it's highly addictive. So I went on to Steam. I posted a review for the game, which was quite positive. And I started posting screenshots of the game. And then, lo and behold, Kerry White, the developer and publisher of the game, started commenting to my screenshots. And we started talking back and forth about the game. And he wanted feedback on ways to improve the game because he's still uh, working on it. Uh, the game is completely playable with the two lakes that it has, but he keeps adding content to it. And he's also tweak, been tweaking the controls and uh, the graphics and so forth. And uh, it's just amazing how much work and dedication he's put into this game. Anyway, we got to talking on Discord and he asked me what my Patreon uh, account was, name was. And I told him and he said, well, how many Steam keys do you want? <laughs> and I said, well, how about four and he said well, here they are he gave me four steam keys so at the end of this video i will tell you how you can get your own steam key for the fishery a game that i highly recommend by the way okay i'm going to click start now my balance is uh two dollars and five cents it's up here right under the level that i'm on which i'm at level 22 I've been playing the game for 10 hours, so that's an average of 2.2 levels per hour. However, I've had this game running for a solid hour now without advancing any because uh, this is take 38 of this video. Okay, you move your character, this guy here, with your W, A, S, and D keys on your keyboard. Now, when I first got this game, it had no prompts, but now it does. E. And you can see how many, much of each bait I have. 161 bits of bread, 261 sweet corns, 171 maggots, 232 worms, 60 fish slices, and 63 pellets. Balance $2.05. I'm not going to purchase anything else because it costs $2 to get out to Carol's Lake, which is where I want to fish, yes? There's a lake behind the cabin, but I don't want to fish there just at this point. Okay, this is where you check your achievements, but also the fish totals. How much of each fish species you have caught. It doesn't tally the number of shoes or um, frogs you catch. The heaviest fish I have caught to date weighed 95.96 pounds and I have caught a total of 624 fish. Now you'll notice one of these achievements is garbled. Now I asked Carrie about that and he told me well that's because I haven't yet achieved it. However he has since come back and said he's going to change that so that uh, you don't get a garbled uh, display like that. Okay, currently nothing happens when you approach the rods. But he and I were talking and uh, he is going to be adding uh, some additional rods and so forth. Now, if you have any new mail the mailbox glows white. It pulsates, pulsates, rather, 
and and white. And uh, as I have no male, hitting E ha has no effect. E to travel. Currently, as I mentioned before, the only other lake in here is Carol's Lake thus far because he's going to be adding more lakes. And these are the common fishes or fish species that you are going to catch out there. I'll let's click on it and we will immediately be transported there. One horn honk away. Okay, one, rod, X, bait. If I didn't already mention it, uh, pellets are good for catching carp. I got that straight from Carrie. One of the achievements is to catch 100 carp, but I've already done that. Now what you do is you pick a spot in the, in the lake, and then you hold down the right mouse button uh, to cast. Um, the longer you hold it in, the further out your cast will go. You'll see this distance bar move down here in the lower left, and then when you release the right mouse button, it'll cast off the line. So, like that. When that red dot disappears under the waves, and then you see bubbles, that's when you left click on it, and right Hold down the right mouse button, and that pulls in the fish. There's a little image of the fish underwater, and that's what I caught. Okay, I'll sell it if it's worth more than a dollar fifty. Now I have sat and played this game for hours, so uh, obviously I do like it. Eighty-four cents. I would get eleven point two nine experience points if I sold it. Almost twice as much, or about twice as much, if I release it. And the more experience points you get, the, that builds up your level. Now, we were talking, well, I asked him, well, look at this. Um, I asked him if there could possibly be an option added later to sell or release keep for either eating or mounting purposes. And he told me he was actually thinking of doing that. And so I told him, well, great minds think alike. There's something that's going to happen eventually. I'm waiting for it to happen to talk about it. And it just happened. Well, what do you know about that? The fish has a hold of the line and is too strong for me to pull him in. I try and I can't, if I let him go too long, uh, he's going to get away. So I'll just hit the C button and that'll cut the line. It didn't used to come up with a prompt to do that, so the first time it happened, I didn't know what to do to get out of it, so I exited the game and re-entered, and I posted about that, and then he came back to me, and oh, he forgot to do that, so he went in and added immediately that prompt. Yield common, 
22 cents. One of the achievements or goals is to catch 100 rares out at Carol's Lake. And I did that last night in one session. You have to do it in one session. And there's a shoe. Every 10 items that you trash, you receive 100 experience points and $10. See how far I can cast it. See if I let go. Of it, I can play with it. Tiring out. Ooh, and a rare. Worth $5.31. Not the most valuable fish I've ever caught. There's 73 experience points. You have to have money because... You have to have something to participate with. Yes, last night I spent two hours and 20 minutes playing this game in one session. Missed. What I'm going to do, you can't move when you're holding a rod, but I'm going to move over here. I didn't really have to do that because if you want to keep your same bait, you just don't hit X again and you'll still use whatever you were using before. If I hit this question mark down in the lower right, it'll call up the controls, but I'm not going to do it while I'm recording a video because, uh, oh shoot. I use a dual monitor setup, and if I get too close to the edge of the screen, it minimizes the left display and switches to the right as the primary. And then that messes up everything. Uh, that seems to happen more here on the right lake than the left lake. Or the right portion of the lake. Okay, I should get ten dollars now and a hundred experience points.
Anyway, when I took a screenshot and showed that I was at level, well, at the time I was at level 16, the developer told me he hadn't gotten that high in the game, and he was developing the game. But then there was somebody else on Discord discussing the game with him that was also doing very well with the game that he said that about. That they were doing better at the game than he was. I did read a review on Steam. The guy apparently did not understand this game at all. He thought it should be an action game when it's not an action game. Ooh, another rare. But it's only worth 51 cents, but I bet you it's worth a lot of experience points. 156. He was con confused by the controls, and he didn't find the game fun, and so forth and so on. Now, there are two other reviews in there, mine and someone else's, and our reviews are rave reviews. Although, if you go to Steam, it's only going to say it has one review on it, because they don't count. They don't number the reviews by people who didn't purchase the game through Steam. However, they do show up there. So even if you see no reviews on a game, you might want to click on it because somebody who purchased a key somewhere else, like a daily indie game, or a Fanatical, or Humble Bundle, or uh, Indie Gala, might have reviewed it, but it's not numbered. But it'll be in there. Now, K. White has been has been updating this game so frequently that it's changed quite a bit since I reviewed it. So, I'm thinking about going in there and updating my review simply because of all the updates. But you would think, oh, that's a hassle then with all the updates. No, it's seamless. In fact, I've only had to launch the game once to uh, uh, update the game. Uh, all of the other updates have been live updates. I'm way over here now, so... I assume the darker portions of the water are where it's darker. Nah. Having actually been on lakes, however, if you go out to the ha the Bahamas, you're going to be misled. If you look, if if you go out on a glass bottom boat, for example, in the Bahamas, and you look straight down, everything is so crystal clear. Oh, rare that you would swear it's only three feet down. More like 73 feet down. Let's see, I've been on trains, planes, helicopter, a helicopter, boats, a submarine, um, one of those um, gondola things that you see up in the Alps and so forth. Uh, I guess I should specify which Alps. That's what comes from traveling. But uh, my health being as it is, I can't travel any longer.
Well, it's only 24 cents. So I will release it. Now, in an earlier version of this game, you didn't have that animation with the line. You had a box, a rectangle over here, that showed you your depth and how the fish coming up and so forth. But he changed that to what we have now. I fully expect to hit level 23 soon. I'm just playing with him. Oh, I've been on a streetcar. I forgot that. A paddle boat. Notice down here it's keeping track of how much bait I have left of the chosen bait. And when I run out, it will tell me that I have run out. Rare. The Xanders generally aren't worth anything, but they're worth a lot of experience points. 72 cents. 82.21 experience. I'm now level 23. Now I'm sure this game is not exactly exciting to watch, but I just thoroughly enjoy playing it. Okay, I'm going to make this the last fish for this video. And return to the car and show you something else. Now, I mentioned the Steam Keys that uh, developer Carrie White has made available. They're available at Patreon slash Sesta Ace. They're all in one post. And they're up for anyone who is a patron to grab. They're displayed right beside, well, normally they would be displayed right beside the name of the game, but in this case they're not because 
it has its own separate post so you go to that post and uh, I'll try to remember to stick a link to it down in the description box and um, the first four people to grab those keys can have the game now as I only have two patreon supporters who have steam accounts uh, the list of keys that I have available is growing quite uh, long the next post is going to be over 100 games. Okay, 27 common, 0 uncommon, 4 rare, and 1 specimen. Hover the mouse over the home, uh, which is my destination. And I'm there. Alrighty, oh, also in the description box, I am going to put a, a video a demo video of a game that one of my Patreon supporters, Dr. Mark Mad Scientist, is developing. It's uh, very reminiscent of Defender, and I think it looks really cool. So uh, you may want to give that a, a check. Remember, it only costs a dollar to be a Patreon supporter. And if you think about it, well, a hundred Steam keys are up there. One dollar. I keep expecting somebody to become a Patreon supporter for one dollar and then clean me out of all my keys, but it's not, it's not happened. All right. And I've got a poll up currently on Patreon as to what to do with the um, hentai slash adult games. A lot of these games uh, I'm not interested in and... Even the few that I am interested in, I've already grabbed my keys, and the ones that are up there are duplicates. So I've asked my Patreon supporters if I should continue to offer them uh, the way that I am, to stop off offering them all together, or to offer them in a separate post. You know, post the up keys, the main keys in one list, and then in the next post, post the adult keys, or the keys for the adult games. And the hentai titles and so far that is uh, what's winning all right until next time stay awesome <laughs>